Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for the press conference from Central Pacific Hurricane Center. We will go ahead and get started in about five minutes, and I'll give you a one minute heads up. Okay, we'll get started in about one minute. Uh, my name is Chris Brenchley. I'm the director of the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. I'll be conducting the press conference. We'll start in about 30 seconds. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. We're going to begin the press conference. National Weather Service, Central Pacific Hurricane Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. Press conference uh, for the update of 5 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, Hurricane Douglas. Again, my name is Chris Brenchley. I'm the director of the Central Pacific Hurricane Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. But Hurricane Douglas continues to move west-northwest towards Hawaii. And a tropical storm warning has now been issued for Kauai County. The current location of Hurricane Douglas is about 240 miles east of Hilo, uh, which is also about 430 miles east-southeast of Honolulu. 
The maximum sustained winds are presently at 90 miles per hour. And the present movement is towards the west-northwest at 16 miles per hour. <clears throat> so even though Hurricane Douglas is still a little ways out, it's rapidly approaching the state and we expect uh, that there's possibility of having impacts as soon as late tonight. So a summary of the watches and warnings that are current. <clears throat> uh, in addition to the tropical storm warning that has been issued for Kauai County, including the islands of Kauai and Niihau, we have a hurricane warning remaining in effect for Oahu. A tropical storm warning is in effect for Hawaii County and Maui County. And a hurricane watch remains in effect for Hawaii County and Maui County. So when we talk about the warning, hurricane warning means that the hurricane conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area within the next 36 hours. <clears throat> and a tropical storm warning means that the tropical storm conditions are expected somewhere in the warning area within 36 hours. The watches mean that conditions are possible within the watch area within the next 36 to 48 hours. So uh, as we watch Hurricane Douglas continue to near the, the main Hawaiian islands, uh, the forecast track continues to bring, uh, bring Hurricane Douglas, the center of Hurricane Douglas, very close, uh, beginning later tonight and over the, during the day Sunday and into Sunday night. Gradual weakening is expected over the next couple of days. Um, however, Douglas is still expected to be near hurricane strength when it passes near the islands. We can't overemphasize enough that the exact track continues to have some uncertainty. And so the, a slight change in the forecast track would bring a direct impact and landfall across any of the uh, any of the Hawaiian islands, especially ones that are very close to the track. So hazards that will be affecting us uh, were expected to affect us as Hurricane Douglas passes through the state. Uh, the first thing we talk about is wind, uh, hurricane force winds. Uh, and even tropical storm force winds can create uh, a, quite a bit of damage. Um, <clears throat> as we uh, look back upon a similar hurricane weakening to a tropical storm, which made landfall in, uh, on the big island, that was Isel uh, in 2014. And um, the damage that we saw around that area <clears throat> where the landfall occurred. Again, a hurricane or even tropical storm force winds can cause major damage. And those onset possibilities of the onsets of those winds will be uh, as early as uh, Sunday, early Sunday morning in Maui County, moving across towards uh, Oahu later Sunday and Kauai County Sunday night. For Surf impacts, there's, the winds will be generating very large swells. And uh, as those swells reach the island's uh, shores, we'll expect to have large surf. Uh, surf heights uh, over 15 feet on east facing shores, but also we could have a storm surge of two to four feet. And storm surge brings water uh, above what the normal tides would be expected to bring. And those can affect land areas. So if you have an area that experiences a storm surge, uh, expect that water will uh, be able to rise up over the land in some of the, be uh, the beach and coastal areas. For rainfall, we'd, we'd expect that there's a uh, potential for five to 10 inches of rain across Maui County, Oahu and Kauai County. And this, this type of heavy rainfall could result or would result in life-threatening flash flooding and landslides. 
It looks like Douglas will produce, uh, could produce two to five inches of rainfall over the northern half of the Big Island. But at this time, uh, it's, it appears that the heaviest rainfall would be Maui County, Oahu, and Kauai County. That completes the update on Hurricane Douglas. I'd be happy to answer any questions at this time. My colleague, uh, Ashley Evans, Deputy Director of Central Pacific Hurricane Center, uh, will assist in reading those questions off. Good evening, Chris. Just testing, you can still hear me. I can hear you, thank you. All right, great. Glad to join everyone this evening. So we do have a couple questions, Chris. Okay. Uh, I'll start with uh, question number one. Earlier today, it was mentioned that there was an expectation that Hurricane Douglas would slowly take a more westerly direction. Is there still an expectation of that happening in the coming hours? Over. Yes, um, Hurricane Douglas, the forecast track has, has changed very little over the course of today. Um, the forecast still does anticipate a turn more towards the west uh, as it reaches the state. Uh, and so it really depends on how far north it is, uh, where, where that westerly turn will um, impact the state. Uh, if it stays a bit farther north um, <clears throat> and the center remains just to the north of the islands, or if we see a shift to the west sooner, and then it would impact a direct landfall over the islands. Okay, Chris, we have uh, a second question. Because the storm center appears to be moving north and east of the Big Island, Hawaii, is there still an issue with that county of having uh, severe downsloping winds that was discussed yesterday? Does that risk still remain or has it eased? Over. Uh, no, there is still a risk uh, anywhere where we have terrain, uh, which is the entire state, all of the islands have terrain. And so um, there is a potential for getting downslope, downsloping winds in any location. And it really depends on a couple of factors. The center of the, of the cyclone will, will dictate what the wind direction is at any one location. If the center goes north of the islands, we will get a, a, a westerly wind flow and then a southerly wind flow. And that will affect areas that see downslope winds from the west to the south. However, if the center impacts directly or goes to the south of the islands, then the downslope wind effect will be on the other, air, other side of the, of the islands where we typically will see trade winds causing downsloping. So it's very difficult to say precisely what area is going to see the downslope winds and what areas are not. Um, the important thing is to remember and uh, keep in mind that any areas could see these accelerations. And even if you're not in a mountainous area or downslope of a mountain, if the center uh, of a hurricane, an eye wall reaches your location, you will see it's very strong accelerated winds just from the storm itself. Chris, I've taken a look at the uh, operations account here. I don't see any uh, questions there either. And uh, um, those were the only two questions in the uh, questions block. I don't see any additions in chat either. Um, so I think that ra uh, wraps it. Questions. Over. Okay. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Again. Um, the, the message here is that it we still have enough uncertainty as to the exact track of Hurricane Douglas that we would would message everyone to continue their preparations. There's not a lot of time left to prepare. And so those pre preparations that you do need to make, uh, the remaining preparations should be rushed to completion as soon as possible. Thank you and uh, we will uh, convene at this time, and then we will have our next press conference with the 5 a.m. Sunday uh, advisory package.
Thank you. Uh, mahalo to all.